Hello my wolf pack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we are covering Waylord. Now Waylord, very very high HP, but its defense and special defense are absolutely abysmal. Um, so it kind of balances out to be relatively okay. Yeah, so we have relatively nice attack and special attack actually, and speed, which we're not going to invest in, let's be honest. Um, speed is a little bit lackluster. But I have three sets for you today. Two generic, one Dynamax, although this first one could be Dynamax as well, and I'll explain that just now. So this first set we have Choice Specs, not Clear Smog, uh, Choice Specs as our item, um, basically causing us to be locked into a move, but boosting our special attack by 1.5. We've got Waterfill as an option for ability, but we don't need to worry about getting burnt. We've got Oblivious, so you can't be infatuated or taunted or intimidated. They're not really too... Worrisome, you don't really see the infatuation, you don't really see the uh, attract move anymore, and you're not going to need to be taunted anyways because you're only using attacking moves. So pressure is essentially the only move that is really viable here, unless you think you're going to see an attract Delcati, which at the minute you can't. So yes, we've got move-wise, Hydro Pump, powerful stab, uh, water type, not electric type, water type attack. Um, you could go for Scold or Surf as an alternative option if you... Uh, feel unsure about the accuracy of Hydro Pumps, that's a difference you can do. You've got Ice Beam, which is a strong um, ice type attack and can hit grass types for super effective damage. Hyper Voice, which is a normal type attack, it's a variety of different Pokemon. And then Clear Smog, it reduces the stat change to zero, so if you've got a Pokemon setting up, um, you can potentially put them back to stage one. And also, if you Dynamax and use Clear Smog, it will turn to Max Ooze, allowing for you to uh, raise up your special attack by a couple of stages, so that could be really beneficial too. EV's gone for max HP and max special attack with modest nature, so more special attack, less attack, and four EV's in special defense. The second set I've gone for is a bit more of a supportive set, I suppose. We've got leftovers on here, we've got water veil on here, you could use pressure. Uh, realistically, all three of these abilities aren't of worth in this set. Um, but we've got leftovers allowing for us to heal us up a little bit every turn. And that's what goes really nice with the Water Spout. Water Spout is a very, very powerful water type attack. But as your um, health spots starts to dwindle down and decrease, then it becomes less powerful. So you want to make sure you're as high as possible there. You could run this with a Resto Chesto if you wanted to. Or Rest, Leftovers, uh, Sleep Talk, Snooze, Water Spout, something like that. Options that you could definitely run. So we've got uh, Toxic on here also allowing for you to rack up damage on different Pokemon. It will basically put any setup Pokemon in there or stop them in the tracks because they'll either be limited to the amount they can set up or they will faint after so many turns. So it just, just put a lot of pressure on them. And then you've got Ice Beam again for that coverage move to hit grass types, which are super effective against you. EVs, I've gone for max HP and max defense with a bold nature so more defense and less attack and four EVs and special attack. If you wish, you could go back especially defensive if you want to, um, obviously depending on what kind of role you want to play with your Waylord. And the final set we have, which is probably the best set for Waylord, and I do think that Waylord is actually a, a relatively good Dynamax Pokemon, because we have access to some very good Dynamax moves. Now, here we have Choice Band. You could put Life Orb on here if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you what you go for. Choice Band is not activated when you're Dynamax, so... Um, you don't need to worry about choosing a move and getting stuck in it. I put Water Veil as the ability because if we do get burnt on this set, then you are going to suffer quite a bit. So making sure we're not getting burnt is a priority. Body Press as our first attack. It turns to Max Knuckle, which will raise up your attack by one stage. You've got Earthquake, which will raise up your special defense by one stage. And then Heavy Slam, which will raise up your defense by one stage. I know, I've actually made the meme of Hel Heavy Slam work. Like, <laughs> that's just, yeah. Um, if you didn't know, there was a set made by another Pokemon YouTuber with Heavy Slam on it. And yeah, it got a lot of meme, a lot of, not necessarily hate, but a lot of laughter about it. But in this sense, it is actually viable because of the Dynamax and the Max Steel Spike and how that works. So Heavy Slam can definitely work. And then we've got Liquidation, which can set up the rain for you, allowing for yourself or other Pokemon to be benefiting from that, um, which can be quite nice. If you have an electric type with you, for example, having that Liquidation as uh, the Max Geyser. 
possibly, I can't actually remember where it is, but the max water move, uh, setting up the ring, could possibly have a Pokemon using Thunder, a Let's Type Pokemon, for example. Eevee's gone for max HP and max attack, with an adamant nature, some more attack, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. That is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in your comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here. So have a good one, and I'll see you soon.